Shipping is a vital part of our global economy. But when it comes to transporting dangerous goods, safety is of the utmost importance. Dangerous goods, or DG, are materials that are hazardous to the environment and to human health. These materials can include explosives, flammable liquids, radioactive materials, and more. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the different classes of dangerous goods, as defined by the International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code. Understanding these classes is essential for anyone involved in the shipping or transportation of these materials. So, let's dive in and learn more about the unique characteristics of each class. The first class of dangerous goods is explosives. This includes anything that can produce a chemical reaction, combustion, or detonation. Such as fireworks, dynamite, and certain types of ammunition. Explosives are classified into six different categories. From 1.1, the most dangerous, to 1.6, the least dangerous. Their symbol is an exploding bomb, with a number indicating the category of the explosive. The second class of dangerous goods is gases. This includes any substance that is in a gaseous state at normal atmospheric pressure and temperature. There are three subcategories of gases, flammable, non-flammable and toxic, such as propane, acetylene, and chlorine. Flammable gases refers to gases that can easily ignite and burn when exposed to a heat source or spark. Examples of flammable gases include methane, propane, and hydrogen. Non-flammable gases refers to gases that do not easily catch fire or burn. Examples of non-flammable gases include nitrogen, helium, and carbon dioxide. Toxic gases refers to gases that are harmful or poisonous to living organisms. Exposure to toxic gases can cause health problems or even death. Examples of toxic gases include carbon monoxide, chlorine, and ammonia. The symbol for gases is a gas cylinder, with the subcategory indicated by an additional symbol on the label. The third class of dangerous goods is flammable liquids. This class includes materials that are liquid at normal conditions of temperature and pressure, and that can ignite easily. This includes any liquid that has a flash point of less than 60 degrees Celsius. The flash point is the temperature at which a liquid can ignite, such as gasoline, diesel fuel, and ethanol. The symbol for flammable liquids is a flame over a circle with number 3. Fourth class of dangerous goods is flammable solids. This class includes materials that are solid at normal conditions of temperature and pressure, and that can ignite easily. This class also includes materials that are spontaneously combustible or that can become dangerous when they come into contact with water, example sodium, magnesium, and potassium. The symbol for flammable solids is a flame over a square with number 4. The fifth class of dangerous goods is oxidizing substances. Oxidizing substances and organic peroxides, this class includes materials that can support combustion by providing oxygen or that can increase the intensity of a fire, such as chlorine dioxide, hydrogen peroxide, and ammonium nitrate. The symbol used to identify class 5 dangerous goods is an open flame over a circle with number 5. The sixth class of dangerous goods is toxic and infectious substances. This class includes materials that are toxic to humans or that can cause infection, such as pesticides, certain types of cleaning chemicals, and biological pathogens. The symbol for toxic and infectious substances is a skull and crossbones with number 6. The seventh class of dangerous goods is radioactive materials. This includes anything that emits ionizing radiation, which can be harmful to living organisms. This can include things like uranium, plutonium, and medical isotopes. The symbol for radioactive materials is a yellow and black trefoil with number 7. The eighth class of dangerous goods is corrosive substances. This class includes materials that can corrode metal or other materials. This can include things like acids and alkalis. The symbol for corrosive substances is a test tube pouring liquid onto a hand with number 8.
The ninth and final class of dangerous goods is miscellaneous dangerous goods. This class includes materials that do not fit into any of the other eight classes, such as dry ice, certain types of asbestos, and batteries. The symbol used to identify class 9 dangerous goods is seven black stripes in upper half and wall background with number 9. In conclusion, the transportation and handling of dangerous goods is a serious matter that requires careful attention and adherence to regulations and guidelines. Understanding the nine classes of dangerous goods and their corresponding symbols is crucial to ensure the safe transport of hazardous materials. From explosives and gases to corrosive substances and miscellaneous dangerous goods, each class presents unique risks and challenges that must be addressed. By following proper procedures and protocols, we can help to prevent accidents and protect the environment and public health. Thank you for watching our video, and please stay safe when handling dangerous goods. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.